So what I'm going to do here is show you how to use the TeamViewer app for Android. Uh, this is my phone that I carry with me every day. So if I go into the Play Store and I do a search for TeamViewer, you'll see we come up with uh, TeamViewer Remote Control, which is what I have on this phone and is already installed. And there's additional TeamViewer applications here. As you can see here in the middle, Team Viewer Host. So the Team Viewer Remote Control goes on the phone or computer that you want to use to remote control other devices. The Team Viewer Host goes on the, in the case of Android here, it goes on the Android device, phone or tablet that I want to remote control from another location. So Host is what you respond, you install on all the devices you want to control. Uh, so first you go through and install the remote control app itself and it'll ask you to sign in or open a new account. The account is free for personal use. So go in there, open yourself an account and follow through the installation on that. And uh, once you've done that, uh, you can do the same thing and install the host uh, itself on the one that you want to control. So uh, I'm going to back out of here. And I'm going to go now to my uh, uh, phone. And if you look in the top left corner, that's TeamViewer Remote Control. And this is what it looks like when I open it. So uh, the phones or computers, any devices that you install the host on with your account will show up under my computers. So in my case, I have two Android phones uh, installed with the host. Uh, both of these are, in my case, connected to the Asus router and are a modem, an internet modem for my home internet and my internet out at my camp. So the S6 is the one I'm going to connect to right now. So when I bring it up, I have the option here to remote control it or do file transfers. I'm going to remote control. And now it's going to take a second while it starts the app on the other computer, on the other uh, Android phone. And there we go. So my screen, what we're looking at here now is actually the phone I'm controlling. So I'm going to swipe up and this is what is on the uh, other phone at the time. So I'm going to acknowledge this error. And this is because I unplugged and plugged in the USB cable feeding the router. And as you can see, because it lost connection, the tethering is off. So I'm going to enable the tethering. There we go. Tethering is back on. And now my phone is connected back into the router. It has an internet source. So things are going to take about 15 or 20 seconds and it'll come back online. So I can do that obviously from anywhere in the world with TeamViewer and it's a great little app. Now you look in the bottom right, you'll see the up arrow. So I can hit that and I have the ability to input text on the other phone or whatever, go into settings. I'm just gonna X and close it out, close. And here we go. This is now back on my phone. You're looking back at the screen for Team Viewer that was in the top left corner there. So I've completed a complete remote control session to another phone, enabled an application that had broken, and then just shut it down again. So if you found this video useful, uh, please consider liking and subscribing, and uh, it'll help me out on the channel here. Anyway, uh, Great to know and fantastic ability to be able to control things remotely.